Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And Ying was researching some places to eat and she came across this amazing lady who stir fries all sorts of different Thai dishes. Your choice, made food, made to order. But the unique part is that she sets up her shop within an old red truck underneath a tree. And we didn't really have much information. Ying saw it on a, an old video. Uh, there was no location, we didn't know exactly where it was, so we, we just drove around a little ways and we found it uh, and it's actually right across the street from the temple so I'm very excited that it's open we just parked and so we're gonna go right now to eat there's some lots of cows waiting outside the temple yes and there she is All of the ingredients, all of the seasonings, everything she needs. The stove is set up here, the gas is there, everything is within the back of the truck. An amazing setup. Uh, the only bad news is that she's out of rice, but she does have rice noodles. So she said she just said she's gonna. We're gonna just order some of the dishes that she can make. Ah, so she is almost done for the day. Okay, we got here, but she is gonna make us a few dishes. And what a cool setup! Oh, me ah. Even along the side of the street, you'll see that a lot of tuk tuk drivers and a lot of lotong tail drivers come to eat at her restaurant. And you can just, uh, you can even see some of the tuk-tuk drivers just eating in their, in their uh, car or eating in their, their truck. Uh, they do have some stools set around because the tree is so nice as well for the shade. Um, and then you can even just stand around, you can sit around and eat. She's just preparing some of our ingredients. So while she's doing that, let's do a complete little walk around the truck. So we've got a, a Datsun 1600. Look at this. This has been well used. I think this is the type of truck they might have everything in here. Survival. There's everything. There's things stocked up here. There's an umbrella. There's, yeah, they're literally something stashed away in every corner and cranny of this amazing truck. In the camper, it's just filled with all the ingredients, filled with all of the seasonings, the entire kitchen workstation. <laughs> ผมชอบอาหารไทยครับไทยไทยคุกกิ้งเนาะใช่ครับไทยคุกกิ้งผมชอบคุกกิ้งด้วยครับคุกกิ้งกับชาอาหารครับอ๋อเก่งมากๆ
This one is Patsi U Senyai, which are the wide rice noodles. She fried in some chicken saigai. Do I come up? Saigai gakai. Chicken egg went in, then the wide rice noodles, then the kana, pat kana, which is the Chinese kale, and then she's just stir frying that around. The aromas are wafting through the, the air, through the trees. Oh, what a cool spot. The original food truck. And a bit lot. Yes. Ah, uh, baby Thai, do I have? I don't think I'm not. Ah. For baby Thai, come. Children, children. Children, yes, yes, for children. And the Padsi is ready. And then all the different condiments are in that basket. Chuka. Chuka. Sugar, like a. Napa prick. Napa and that goes to the table. Family cooking. Family cooking. Family cooking. <laughs> Đi mà gặp Mà chào bà hẹn này Còn cái gì đúng không? À Lúc tù là chị thay này Thay nhé Thay thả gặp Thay chị chị Sự bì léo gặp Ồ, kìa này Thay Bà nhiều chị thử nhẹt mà Ồ Thay Để tôi dùa đây đó Thay gặp Wow Oh, thank you. That's awesome. That one is my dish. The pad ka pao. <laughs> that was my plate with the egg, uh, with the rice, with the pad ka pao, the stir fried holy basil. Oh man, uncle is a character. He, he had to help a little bit of the cooking and he was like, family cooking, family cooking. <laughs> yes, uncle is the man. <laughs> that smells delicious, but we're gonna get a few more dishes or at least one more dish. I think the, there's just some stir-fried vegetables, I think. Oh, that smells incredible. And he added in a couple, a couple handfuls of chilies and he, he knows I like to eat spicy. Um, she added in a bunch of sauce and she added in some kaujio, which is the, the fermented beans, soybeans. Um, and this is just a mix of vegetables. But I love how laid back they are. They, normally they would include some more vegetables. But today this is all the vegetables they have. So it's just Napa cabbage and some kale, some Chinese kale. But this is perfect. This is what they have. This is, this is awesome. And what a, what a couple. And even like people around, some of the, the driver rivers around even come to kind of help out sometimes. I think he dished out our rice. Okay.
ช่งในมือเขาเชี่ยวร้อยอร่อยครับยังไม่ว่าลำลำลำอ่าคนลำคนเหนือเหนือเหนือลำลำลำลำลำเตะเตะลำเตะเตะลำเตะเตะทำไมครับลำเตะเตะ That means delicious in northern dialect. Okay, it's time to eat. Okay, all of the food is ready, and one of the coolest parts about it is just the community feel. Their husband and wife, their duo, their friendliness. Actually, the the uncle is really friendly. He's like. He's jolly. He's just cracking jokes and running around the truck, and he's so cool. What a setup! And got two main dishes. Actually, Micah got a patsiu, which is the stir-fried noodles, which we saw first. Um, but then I got mixed. <laughs> I just noticed there's a leaf that fell from the tree right under on the table. Just let it be there. I love the naturalness of it. Uh, the main dish that I got is just one of the most classic of all Thai street food dishes, pad ka pao, uh, stir-fried with chicken, with basil, with chilies, with a fried egg on top. Oh, <laughs> that is a. And they, okay, and they love Micah too. They really love Micah. Kapun m a k a Oh, gee, t a m a c h a t kap, t a m a c h a t kap. Natural. When we got here, they had already run out of rice, uh, but they said they just had a little bit at the bottom, and then they had a little bit of uh, purple, purple rice. So they just kind of mixed the. The little bits of rice that they had onto one plate—that just shows how hospitable, how laid back they are. That is an awesome. I just love it. I'm gonna get some of that egg. Get some of the basil. I'll go a mix of both of the rice. Mm. Oh wow. Oh yeah. This is just—it's a dish that never gets old. It's a dish that is always faithful. Mm. And then just, I don't think there's possibly a better environment. It's salty. You taste the the peppery flavor of the basil, the holy basil, the chilies. But I will, I will season with some Ovaltine. I'm just joking. It's not really Ovaltine. Ovaltine is like a chocolate drink, right? This is the p r i k n a m p l a chilies and fish sauce. Get a little bit of chilies on there. A little bit of chilies on there. All right, and let's try again. That hits the spot. Simple and tasty. And then it got the mixed vegetables. She added in when she found out I like spicy. She added in like four different types of chilies. Just tossed them in one by one. Oh, tastes so hot. Mmm. Very juicy, very crisp from those vegetables. It's hot. It's fresh. Peppery. She added in a good sprinkle of pepper. And again, she said, she said like normally they would include even more mixed vegetables, but she didn't have any more. So it's exactly perfect. But sitting under the tree, these little things keep falling into the food from the tree. <laughs> They're little like, yeah. We'll throw these back on the ground. Like as classic as it gets for Thai street food. And one more dish that Micah got is the pad siu, which is stir fried with egg and chicken. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, Micah, that's pretty tasty. Nice and smoky, and great. Kind of gooey, but soft texture at the same time. Oh, that's true. Oh, and she added in onions to the p a n g a p a o I don't know if I've seen that. Normally, there's never onions. I like it with onions. And the table is a little bit wobbly. And by the way, it's just one table. This is a one-table restaurant.
Okay, that completes a friendly, delicious, unique, very awesome food truck lunch. ไอ้ตรงนี้ตั้งกระดิ่งตั้งนรกไหนอ๋อนี่ก็เมคอันนี้แขวนกันได้ไหมครับทําทําเองไม่ต้องทําเองไม่ต้องนะครับทําเองน